Mexico. One of the ways of doing that is paid sick days for people who have COVID-19. And despite numerous attempts, the clock continues to tick and not much has been done to help those who feel the need to keep working regardless. At a time when more people may be getting sick and need time off, they may be thinking twice, making the decision about whether they get paid or not. Today, the political fight over making sure it happens continued. What we've got right now is what I've described before as this ping pong game that goes on uh, where nobody seems to really just say, fine, I accept the responsibility or I have to do it with the other government. It's just nobody's doing it now and that's not, uh, that's not a satisfactory situation. Thank you, Councillor Layton. A report heard by Toronto's Board of Health today suggested just 42% of working Canadians currently have access to paid sick leave. And among low-wage and frontline workers, it's just 10%. Any one government of two that are available to do it could say we mandate this to happen during the pandemic for all employers, that the uh, employees are going to be, uh, you know, receive their paycheck or an equivalent or something close to their paycheck uh, during the period of the, uh, of the isolation they're forced to endure. While the Board of Health suggested the province pony up additional cash, GTHA mayors have suggested the feds make up the money while Premier Ford could mandate employers provide pay. Ford, however, says there's no reason for the province to step in. If the system's not working, and that, that's what I'm hearing from the media, we're having conversations as we speak and over the last uh, little while with the federal government, maybe to change it. If people don't feel they're getting it quick enough, which I've brought to the attention of the Prime Minister and Deputy Prime Minister, then we need to change the program. The federal government has offered $500 per week for up to two weeks as a sickness recovery benefit. But Ford says the money isn't being used. But let's be very, very clear. There's no reason uh, for the province to jump in there when uh, less than 27% of the overall program hasn't been taken up. And I know the federal government's going to be reviewing it and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll have an answer in a very short time here. The mayor, meanwhile, says he doesn't really care who takes care of it. All the while, some getting sick are struggling even more to get by. On another note, new cell phone data is suggesting that more of us are staying home. During the first week of January, numbers are saying that 82% of people with devices were staying at home during that time. Compare that to the middle of March, back in the spring, in the midst of the peak of the pandemic, when that number was 87%. Dr. Eileen Davila saying that that is proof that this lockdown is starting to work.